Hi and welcome to another Planetside 2 aggressive sniping video, where I'm as often as there's possibilities are playing up close to the enemy as an infiltrated sniper. I have recently been doing well or better than before when it comes to sniping in Planetside 2 and I think I know why. First off I've learned how the LE80 works that I'm using so we're getting along even better than before if that makes sense. But the biggest reason is mostly the fact that I've started to get better timing when I'm getting in and out from camoing taking my shots. In a game like Planetside 2 you have to be able to position yourself well as an infiltrated sniper, especially if you play like me, quite close up to the enemy, uh, the second you are about to take the shot, and then shoot almost exactly the same moment as you become visible, and of course then the other way around, as soon as you've taken the shot, immediately back into camo and move to the side or into cover if there's any close to you. When I was new to the game I sometimes simply forgot that I was actually cloaked when taking the shot and as you may know you can't shoot when being cloaked so I did miss out on some good opportunities. Well I can now look back and laugh about that but often when I manage to get into a good situation and position I try to shoot a bit too early before actually getting out of being cloaked which of course messed up the timing and the moment might therefore already be over and also leaving me exposed to the enemy. What I describe is of course small details and mechanics, especially since it usually happens during a split second or so, but I wanted to describe what made it possible for me to get more kills, also without dying, more consistent, just by improving this timing thing. It has also to be said, which is the case for everything that has to do with becoming better at something, meaning improving, that you have to be quite consistent, playing with that particular class or in gun, spending time practicing certain situations or techniques in order to finally do better or even better than that, master them. Because I find it very rewarding to play as a sniper in Planetside 2 also now in 2022, even though I know and understand that a lot of Things has changed when it comes to features and weapons in the game since the start back in 2012. But I do like the challenge and even though I have played hundreds of different shooters through the years by now mainly as a sniper, I still believe that Planetside 2 offers me an experience overall that no other game has today in 2022. So if you guys are interested to watch, well I'll then continue to post videos similar to this on my channel, because I know that I will play this game also in the long run. I've said before, but I do want to mention also again that I really appreciate your tips and general thoughts about Planetside 2 in the comments as well. That has helped me to put together a class that suits my playstyle pretty well today, although I yet had to try a few more secondary weapons. But you guys also there, you gave me some nice tips and as soon as I get the opportunity to unlock some new guns, I'll definitely will try some of your suggestions. In an earlier video I said that I believe that the game is in a pretty good state at the moment and I therefore encourage new players to give Planetside 2 a try to see if it can be something for you. If you do that I would like to give you an advice that someone gave me when I first started to play the game. Have patience. A lot of guys give up before they reach rank 20 but it's actually around this rank or a bit earlier that the fun really begins. And since I've now walked that path, I can just say that it's partly true. You need to play those hours needed to reach around rank 20 to get both better at the game, but also grasp the concept of the battlefield, both on land as infantry player, tanks, etc., but also in the air and sometimes at sea as well. But don't worry, you'll get there. And when you do, you do realize that Planetside 2 has depth and possibilities that you might not be aware of when you start to play as a beginner. With that said, I hope you have been enjoying this video. It's been a lot of sniping, that's foremost what I do. And it did also take quite some time to put together this video since it's a lot of clips from different games. So with that said, if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like on the video since it helps me out here on YouTube. And of course, if you're new to my channel and if you would like to watch more FPS games of various kind, not only Planetside 2, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out when I upload a new video. My friends, if you're new to the game, give the game a go, give it a try and let me know what you think about it in the comments. And veterans out there, I hope you stick to Planetside 2 and also hope to meet you on the battlefield. Thanks for watching and take care. Later.